Hey Cupcakes, um, sorry for like the harsh lighting going on my face, but I'm in my bedroom right now and um, I wanted to do a video that I haven't done before but I really want to start trying to do on this channel it is a um, monthly reset. I have been watching um, a couple, well, t I, I saved like all of September's uh, of anybody I've ever seen when I looked it up on YouTube and it just binged watched all of them and um, a couple channels I actually see they do them a lot so I started going deep diving into those channels watched their previous ones as well and then um, you know I need a video so I decided to go do this and then I saw that people are already uploading theirs for October so what better time to go ahead and do my own October monthly reset so September for me was a struggle. It was very eventful to say the least, so um, I will be going over September and the goals I, I set up sort of for myself for September and moving forward for October. So I do want to go ahead and put Halloween and fall decor out. I was going to do it on the first day of fall, which was the 22nd. Didn't do it. And I was going to do it over the weekend, didn't do it, so what better day than to be accountable today and put them up today. So, but let's go over September 1st. So, um, September reflection questions I have here are, what did I learn this month? And I put, learn that not every job is going to meet your expectations, but it is still a job. And so, right now, for September I got COVID the first week of September. I actually left my previous job on the last week of August and I went to do training for Amazon and um, apparently everybody in my house got sick with COVID and so I had to go get tested before I started my job which was thankfully not going to be until that next week anyway and so if I needed five days, it would have actually been exactly five days, which in turn, I went and I ended up getting COVID. So I told everybody there that I was around, which at the time when I was doing training, I had a cold and I thought it was just a cold, but I just wanted to be covered. So I just wore a mask the whole entire time. And because Amazon is so good about their like COVID restrictions and stuff, we were never close in proximity ever, even in our class. We were all on our own separate tables. We had our own separate things. Everything got sanitized. So even if someone even could get sick, I highly doubt that they would have. And they probably would have told me or something. So anyway, so I got sick. And then so after the three-day training we had, I had, I had those five days to just stay at home. And thankfully, my boyfriend was not sick with COVID, but everybody else pretty much in the house was. So everybody had to pretty much stay away from him. And um, so we did that. That was the like worst five days of my life because I couldn't do anything. Plus, I didn't feel like doing anything. That happened. So I had COVID the first week. Then I went to work, and the job didn't work out. And now for the, like, the last of the three or two weeks left, I have been trying to just find a job, and it is proving to be harder than I thought. I have applied to over 50 jobs and no return, and I went to apply to one in town, and turned out the whole time that they were just giving me the loop around, they couldn't find my application that I gave them, and that they weren't hiring in the first place, so that went back to square one, so... Right now, I'm just trying to see what will happen, and on a better note, that is just pretty much my September in a nutshell, so I didn't have really any goals. I did make um, monthly intentions. There is a girl that I actually ended up, there's a couple girls that I subscribe to after watching their resets, but one of the girls I've watched, which I'll link her channel below because I cannot think of her name at the top of my head right now, but I don't want to butcher it if it's wrong. She did monthly intentions on her computer. And then she would go broader to that to, like, specific monthly goals. But, like, monthly intentions would always stay the same for every month. So I started to do that instead. And then I was going to break down the months as well. But I never did break down goals specifically for September. So I'm going to try to do that for this time for October. But the monthly intentions that I built for me for just in general every month was health and wellness, personal and professional, and financial. So my health and wellness was create a smooth night routine. So the night routine app on my phone actually has um, these these things. Like right now I have all this on my 
screen. These are remind these reminders are connected to the Routinery app as well, but there's these are separate to where I can actually check them off too as a checkbox list thing compared to the Routinery app. The only thing I don't like about it is that you either skip it or you don't do it, but then like the routine says it's done even though you didn't do your whole routine. So I mean it's it's a win and a loss kind of situation with the app, but I've used it so many other times and I've paid for like the monthly subscription to get all the other extra benefits and there's two other apps I was going to bring up as my favorites for really helping me out for September. But either way, I have these reminders, and so, but my routine app is not really set in stone. Like, it'll, it has all these times, but I never start it at the actual time it's supposed to. And my morning routine is starting to get that way, too, where I will not even turn it on when I wake up when it's supposed to be you know, make my bed, then drink water, then take my medicine, then, you know, do this, do that. It's just kind of like whenever I feel like doing it, I'll go, okay, let's go ahead and turn it on, and then I'll go do everything that I hadn't done already on the routine on top of everything I've had, I have done. So I'd be like, I'd just check it off. But then it, instead of it being a time thing and saying like, because it, it tells you how long the routine app will take for you to do your routine, and it's supposed to like help you make sure you're always out the door on time of how you want to take it to where you'll be out on time, and so if you just start in the middle of the day, it's not, it doesn't work for you, so it just kind of finishes the goal, and you know, but anyway, so I really want to get the night routine really to where it's like, we eat dinner, and as soon as we start eating dinner, I start, start that app, and then we eat, and I'm intentional of eating and spending time, and then go on for my night routine, and actually go to bed at a decent time, because my sleep schedule since I've lost my, well, not lost my job, but haven't had a job is completely out the door. So, night routine smooth, 10,000 steps on average. I made this mainly for the Amazon job because I knew I would probably do 10,000 steps, if anything, on a daily basis at that job, and then I never would wear my watch, and I only worked there for two days. So, that one went out the window. And then sleep eight hours a night, as I said, my sleep schedule has went completely out the door. I will go to bed at like 11.30, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock even, 10.30. But I also was taking my little brother to work for like these last week, two weeks. And then I just decided that since I'm still looking for a job and have not had any offers, that he could just take my car at nighttime to where I could go to bed. But then I don't even go to bed because... I'm awake waiting for him to get home, so it just, that was a fail, but, um, yeah, so health and wellness is not really working out, but I'm hoping to change it up a little bit and help out on that one. Personal and professional was upload spreads to YouTube every Tuesday. Um, spreads, we need my planner spreads, but I'm also trying to just upload videos in general every Tuesday, so, in general, this is Tuesday today, so this video will be going up two dates for you guys, so. Um, post spreads to Instagram every Wednesday, so I was going to post the the planner spread that I did for the YouTube on Tuesday. I was going to upload it to win Wednesday on Instagram so you could see it, link the video, all that kind of stuff. I had this all planned in my head. Um, I did have a video on TikTok that was a bullet journal spread that I did to try it out to see if I liked it, and then I also uploaded it up here on YouTube on Shorts. I am going to try to do that every Thursday on TikTok, but... We'll see how that works out. Um, then I was going to just, in my head, this was just not really a thing for, like, social media, but for myself was to make sure I did planner spreads every Friday and Saturday. That way they were ready to go up on YouTube on Tuesday instead of a last minute's resort. And then also personal, more personal than, than social media, was to do Bible study with my parents every Sunday. So I have been beating myself up about this a lot because... I really, really wanted to get back into the Word of God, but I have not even picked up the Bible. I had a coloring book that my journey partner gave me that has spiritual scriptures in it, but it's also a coloring book. I was doing that, reading those scriptures every day when I was coloring them at my previous job, and that was about as spiritual as I would get. And my mom has actually been sending me every day or every Sunday their Bible study, and I just haven't picked it up. So that's definitely a big thing I want to try to do this October. And then read one book. I currently am reading a book, but then I dropped off of it last week, and so I need to pick it back up again. But I, I needed to read 12 books for my goal for Goodreads, and I have read 3 of 12. And I only needed nine more, and my currently reading books is nine. So it's all my help books that I had when we were doing my journey 
through God and I'm literally almost done with them because we've read them during the course and I also have like a bunch of like fantasy novels that I started and they're either 50% through or they just got started so but if I finish all those books my goal will be finished by the end of the year so trying to really keep me motivated that you know I have literally those books that just need to be read and then my goal's finished so excuse me and then my financial goal which kind of went out the window too with this situation of how I'm doing. I wanted to make a saving account to have a hundred and ten dollars, a very specific amount, but it was for my boyfriend's birthday. I had a plan to go to this underwater themed bowling alley with his friends and everything and we already kind of picked a date and I had to go all the money but then that kind of got set aside because of the whole situation. I'm hoping I can find a job soon so that way I can go back and put money back into that because I had almost all of it and then I had to take pretty much all of it out to do other things, essentials. So I want to start cash stuffing as well. Once I get this sorted out, I want to start really budgeting our money and really figure out where every penny is going. I really would love to, which I don't know if it will happen, but I would love to get it to where it's a zero budget, where every money, every cent goes to something. There's All I have is a buffer left in my account, and everything else actually goes straight to something, and it's always being used, not just lingering money that will just be used because it has to be used because it's just sitting there staring at us so and then planning our birthdays my boyfriend's birthday is in december mine is in november and i technically already had his plan but then like i said the money situation kind of went out the wazoo my plan for my birthday was because it's my 30th birthday it was really just to do like a photo shoot and a really pretty dress and take pictures with our friends and would love to have a party but i I haven't really planned my birthday because I never really do, and then it happens and then I'm upset because I didn't plan anything, but we'll see. I have a month. <laughs> so, and then um, I wanted to start the uh, HelloFresh food service because they actually provide a gluten-free option. I am gluten intolerant and dairy intolerant, but the dairy is not as bad, but the gluten intolerant is a big chunk that's happened in my life in this past year that I've discovered and realized that it, it still hurts sometimes if, even if I do eat um, stuff that isn't gluten or if I um, take a pill to eat gluten it's still just up in the air so we have to do blood work next year to figure out you know what's all going on besides being allergic to certain foods but my favorites which I, I wrote on this monthly intention um, page is that uh, I have a app called Routinery, I have an app called da Dalio, which I've had both of these for a long time, but always when I really need them, I go back to them and then I don't keep, you know, keep up with them, but they really keep you motivated to keep up with them because it'd be like, you're doing great, you've kept up a streak. Um, routinery is for right, routines, like I said, daily routine, night routine. You also can do extra routines if you pay for the premium, you can add on more, but I just need it main, mainly day and night. And uh, Dalio is a journal app, but you also can do little um, activities, which helps me out a lot. Um, I might do like a separate video for these apps or something at a different time to show like how they really work. And a new one that I just recently found in the past couple weeks is Finch. Um, and it's just a little bird, a little owl, I guess. Right there, you can't really see it, but um, it is a little bird that you take care of, and she becomes your friend, and she keeps you motivated, so um, the things I have on here is when she she ages up, so she's a, a baby bird out of an egg when you first get her, and then now mine is a toddler, it's day 12 that we've been doing it, so yeah, about a, oh, two weeks now, um, but she gets uh, energy from you doing things for yourself, so when you do a goal, you're actually powering her up to do things, so... Um, these are my goals that I set, which are different, um, journeys, so my journeys, you, ha you can have four in total, um, one is tidy space, tidy, which these are all, like, presets in the actual app, so tidy space, tidy mind, so fresh, so clean, appreciate the moments in life, and a better self, and I've already leveled up to level two, and all three of them except the tidy space, tidy mind, I'm slowly doing that, but it's also one of those things where it's, uh, a thing I do every week compared to a daily goal I do. It's more of like the Sunday resets and cleaning and putting stuff where they go. So 
these are my goals I have today. I haven't started yet for the app, but um, say one thing I'm grateful for before bed. And these are, most of them are like at nighttime right before I go to sleep. Say one thing I'm grateful for before bed. Set goals for tomorrow before bed. Complete five jumping jacks. Make my bed. Step outside of my home. Drink water. Stop using my phone 30 minutes before sleeping. Take a deep breath and appreciate the sensation, which my um, journal app and my routine app both get me to breathe in and out before I start my uh, actual apps, so that actually always happens every day. Uh, start a day with affirmation or gratitude. I have an affirmation app also on my phone, which is called Moonly. Um, it gives you an affirmation every day, a tarot reading, and a rune reading. So I always put the affirmation that it gives me that day into this to get the points. Uh, take a shower, which is every three days. Um, I have ADHD, and sometimes I forget what day it was that I took a shower. I know I took a shower, but I can never remember what, so I try to keep myself accountable of what day that was. I know that sounds probably very unhygienic, but that is just one of the great perks of having ADHD is you just pretty much forget the last day or, you know, yesterday. I couldn't even probably tell you what I had to eat unless I wrote it down, so... Okay, and then the last one was uh, put away one item that's not in its place, and that is the one of the tidy space, tidy mind. And that's a daily thing, but then the other one that I have, which, let me see if I can click it and it'll actually show me my things. Okay, so put away one item that's not in its place, that's every day. Donate an item I no longer need or use, that's every other week on Sunday. Take out the trash, that's every Sunday. Declutter one section of a room every Sunday, organize one shelf or cabinet every other week on Sunday, and then vacuum and sweep one room is Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday every week. So, it, it's, it's slowly going, but it's one of those things where it's more of an elongated goal than a daily goal, so that has really been helping me out, and then, so... That's kind of just like my monthly goals I had, but really some of them ha happened, some of them didn't. So now, to get out of that negativity, we're going to go ahead and make my October goals. So my October goals are going to be, we're going to go ahead and write those down. We're going to do Bible study. We're going to do physical moving. So any kind of workout, you know, the jumping jacks or stretching or anything like that. Um, to 10,000 steps on average, unless depending on my job, I'm moving a lot. I highly doubt I'll ever get 10,000 steps. Even in my previous, previous job where I worked in fast food, I would rarely even get 6,000 steps on let alone 10,000, and I was always moving, that that job is, you are moving at all times until you leave. Um, sleep 8 hours a night, let's go ahead and also add that to the night routine, 8 hours of sleep, always, which I do have a, um, oh, that was my other app that I was using and then I just stopped all of a sudden, um, sleep cycle, it actually records you, well not records you, but like it, it centers you while you're asleep and will get your um, uh, your hours of sleep. You can do it to where it'll set a timer or alarm every time that you wake up at that same time, or you can set it for a range of that time and it will look for body movement or anything and try to wake you up when it thinks you're awake, which I like that one better because it actually is really waking me. It's telling me, hey, you're up, and I'm like, yeah, I am, but I don't want to be. But it's, it's keeping me accountable that it's getting my legit sleep time and so like let me see because I haven't used it in a bit I stopped using it once I stopped working my last time was set, um, September 11th I got five hours and 30 minutes of sleep but I was in bed for six hours and 32 minutes so I was actually in bed for an extra hour more than I was actually sleeping which but I didn't get a full eight hours I only got five hours so definitely need to do the eight hours of sleep for sure and my boyfriend even told me this morning when we were getting up, he was saying, you know, you gotta get up, do your thing, and you really need to get back in your sleep schedule, and I was like, I know. Um, YouTube, I'm sticking with that one, so it's still working. Um, Instagram, I accidentally, for the last time I did the video for last week, for Tuesday, I accidentally uploaded Instagram also on the same day, and I should have posted it the next day, which, that, 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 I mean, I told myself to do that, but then I didn't do it. Um, TikTok stuff, 
we'll work on that one. Planner spreads Friday and Saturday. Going to try to do that. I have it on my... I'm so sorry, guys, that I keep doing that. But my nose is just, like, itching. But it, my allergies are terrible when the weather's, like, nice, which is so sad. Um, I have it on my calendars to do plan next week every time. So I just need to help myself accountable. I am doing pretty good about this planner in general. Um, it's a dashboard mini about doing the uh, the week spreads and it always says on Saturdays to plan the next week so I already planned this week that's already happening so I already have the plans that are going to happen already wrote in so I just the only thing about it is is that I am planning every week like I write in the things but then I like I don't decorate and then I feel like it's boring because I don't decorate so it's mainly trying to decorate a spread and make it pretty for when I film my yearly flip throughs um, I already wrote Bible study, writing the book, or reading books, I already, um, I lost my page way back here, here we go, um, reading the books, like I said, I have been picking up my fantasy novel, I need to go ahead and try to do, like, the mental health book and a fantasy novel, kind of one in hand, like, read the mental health in the morning, read the fantasy at night, or however I want to do it, but then that way I can kind of chop them up real quick, because, most of the mental health books are almost finished. I, we read them in my course that I did, so they just really just are like the last little chapters that we didn't finish in the actual course. Um, so let me go ahead put that as read one mental health and fantasy. Because my genre of books are normally fantasy novels, so... Um, and the financial goals, I want to definitely get back to getting my goal of $110 in savings for my boyfriend's birthday. I want to do the cash stuffing if, when I find a job. I definitely want to do plan... I already technically have his birthday, so I'm just going to put plan my birthday. Because I already have a, uh, our idea, because we've already told our friends about it and everything, about what we're going to do for his and um, start Hello Fresh. So, I kind of did it differently on my planner than I did on my phone about like breaking them up and what type they were, but it is still set in here and I'll put it on my phone as well and we'll go from there. So, that was my September goals and my September reflection. There's my October goals. So, that is my part of that reset. So now we're going to go ahead and put out some decor. I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera off because I think my battery is actually about to die. So we'll probably charge my battery and we'll come back to me putting decorations and stuff up. So I'll be back guys. Alrighty, so now that the phone, or the phone, <laughs> the camera is charged, I was going to go ahead and show you what I did off camera. Well, I also forgot that I even got this decoration. So let me just turn it around so I can show you. So um, it was either last year or the year before. I'm assuming last year though. Because I would have probably used it already. Um, Michael's went on, uh, on sale online for Halloween decorations. So I went ahead and scored on that sale. And I got this pillow. That's trick or treats with a dog. I might keep it in here or put it on the couch. I'm not sure yet. But um, I put that there. Um, a couple decorations that aren't on the dresser. I have this Halloween Mickey ears that I got from like a, a Daiso or something that I, I wear every year. I have these nail stickers that um, I put on my nails sometimes. I have spider rings. I think my mom gave me these or something, but yeah, I have those. But this was another thing that I got online on Michael's that was on sale. It is, which I'm not really into the gnome stuff, even though you'll see another gnome. Um, these are for uh, photo play element stickers. They are, uh, I have a Christmas one as well in my tote. Oh, here we go. Known for the holidays, Halloween. And then there's another one where it's known for the holidays, Christmas. And I have that one in the tote as well. Um, but it's just a bunch of sticker sheets and it says, there it goes. Known for Halloween collection contains 12 sheets of 12 by 12 double-sided designer cardstock and one sheet of 12 by 12 designer cardstock stickers. So, I'm going to try to dive into this and use this this year, since I completely forgot I had that on top of the pillow. So, this is my dresser top. I have this whole shelf of bears on top of it, 
and then cupcakes up there. If you see in all my social medias, I say I collect teddy bears and cupcakes. It's been a thing that I've been doing for a long time. So, but, um, excuse the, you know, huge, obnoxious humidifier, but if I do not have that, I cannot breathe when I'm sleeping, so that has to be up here. Um, so here's the other gnome I was mentioning. I have this little flower gnome that I got. I don't remember if I got it or somebody else got it for me. Um, I switched my, I had a, I still had spring up, because I don't think I had technically a summer unless I use my, uh, cupcake one that I already put up. I had this candy corn dish that I got, I think even last year. Um, I got this bear, I believe, last year with this pumpkin. Uh, this is a November-themed cup I've had that I use just for my change, and I just keep it up all the time. Um, I got this glass pumpkin from Goodwill. I need to put candy in it, of course. I have this hedgehog cookie jar that doesn't have any cookies in it right now that I believe. I don't think so. Um, I have this talker thing, or um, conversation starter thing. It's a potato, and I don't know what you're supposed to do with it, but I'm assuming it's just a little trinket dish, but I have it, which if I had a house, I would do this like on the table for Thanksgiving just to be something funny. But then I also got these um, turkey uh, napkin holders. Now, this one actually had another one with it, but I didn't find it till like the next time I went, so, but it's like this one's me and this one's Luke, so that's like my Thanksgiving homage is right here. And then I have this little bear with pumpkins and his hands and uh, wheat. And then I have this little iced cupcake candle, which it is a winter thing, but it's got like little critters on it, so I just kept it out. My little crystals and geodes. And then this bear is actually given to me by my family after my grandmother passed away. It was in my room at her house forever, so it just now belongs to me. That is all I really had for you for today for the reset. I'm going to go ahead and go get this video together for you guys. It'll be up on time, and I will see you in the next one. Stay sweet, cupcakes. Bye.